Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about this error. The alter table statement conflicted with the check constraint in SQL Server. So think about a scenario. You are working as a SQL Server developer. Your manager asks you to create or your team lead or maybe there is some business requirement to create a check constraint for one of the column. When you create that constraint, you get this error. So let's go ahead and look into the error first and then a solution. So let me open this. I have a create statement for a table. So I'm creating this table called the DBO customer and it has first name, last name and street address. Then what I'm doing here, I'm inserting some data. You can take a look here. I am inserting Ahmed Shehzad and this is the address. Then I'm inserting a second record and the first name is Raza and space. we have space here and then A and last name is now and we have ABC address. Let's insert these values here. Okay, records are inserted successful. Now, your manager asks you to create a constraint on this table. He wants to create a constraint on first name and he wants to make sure nobody insert any other character but only A to Z values. So our uh, first name uh, should only accept uh, A to Z, doesn't matter small or capital, but uh, the only A to Z characters uh, or alphabets uh, should be accepted in the first name. You went ahead and you said, okay, alter table, DBO customer, and you said add constraint, constraint name, and then you are saying check uh, F name not like, and you put this expressions. Uh, so this part of the expression is saying, okay, always check for the first name value when somebody try to insert it and make sure the value lies between a to z characters so if there is a you can you can only accept from a to z if there is some other character such as space or numbers or uh, special characters somebody try to insert don't accept that so that's our check constraint now you went ahead and you ran that statement and we got the error the altered table statement conflicted with the check constraint and this is a check constraint you are trying to create and the conflict occurred in the database so tech rather it table name dbo customer and the name of the column is f name okay great now that's the problem we cannot create this constraint on uh, this uh, column the reason uh, we have a space already there and we are trying to say okay don't uh, accept anything but a to z characters uh, for first name uh, but there is a record that has already space uh, that's why we are getting this uh, error there are two solutions from here one uh, we correct this information uh, and uh, we remove um, a space from here or maybe we say okay there should be uh, no space uh, between them or maybe this is the middle name uh, and we take this and put into some create a new column and say middle name or maybe this is the last uh, a is the last name so we put a here and then leave uh, draza once we do, we do that then our we will be able to create constraint without problem but your manager says no that's absolutely okay if uh, we have the records already i don't care you want we want to create the constraint moving forward so for any new incoming records we want to implement the check constraint for existing records that's fine no big deal forget about them so what we do here we say alter table dbo customer and we say with no check so now if we will go ahead and run this uh, uh, alter table dbo uh, customer with the no check add constraint and all that it is going to create a constraint uh, and it is not going to take a look on the existing records uh. but uh, moving forward if we will try to insert any data the constraint will be validated or uh, it will be checked uh. so constraint is going to make sure you are inserting the correct data in the future or moving forward uh, after we have created the constraint uh. Now let's uh, try some uh, data and uh, see if uh, check constraint is working properly or not. Uh, and you see that uh, here we are getting this error because there is a one, two, three with the test. Uh, so uh, our uh, constraint is only accepting A to Z characters. Uh, if I will remove this part, uh, it should work just fine. So let's go ahead and run it. The one row is uh, inserted. Uh, same thing here. If uh, we have a uh, 
uh, no space no special character and all the characters uh, are between a to z then it is going to work just fine and uh, let's say if we have a space here if i try to run it it's not going to work uh, because uh, we have check constraint uh, that is only accepting uh, uh, character a to z okay now if i remove this one and insert it it will work just fine so this is uh, with the with no check uh, this uh, th this help us uh, in a way when we have already invalid data and uh, uh, we don't care about that data and moving forward uh, we want to have the check constraint uh, so by you doing this one it is uh, going to ignore the existing data and then uh, create the check constraint for us uh, and moving forward uh, will, uh, it will always validate uh, the data according to the check constraint rule or uh, um, expression so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope this uh, video will help you uh, the script is available on Tech Brothers IT website. Uh, I will put the link in the description and you can always go to the techbrothersit.com and SQL Server T-SQL tutorial and follow our SQL Server T-SQL tutorial step by step. Um, I'm putting everything chapter by chapter so you can start from one chapter and move to the next one and ignore if uh, you are very good in constraints. So this is chapter 6. Uh, maybe you want to move to the seventh chapter and uh, uh, that's where we are learning how to insert rows in SQL Server table. Thanks and I will see you guys in the next video.